Wesley and Bible study and Psalm chapter 26 of David. And so, uh, vindicate me, O Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Trust me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind, for your love is ever before me, and I walk continually in your truth. I do not sit with deceitful men, nor do I consort with hypocrites. I abhor the assembly of evildoers and refuse to sit with the wicked. I wash my hands in innocence and go about your altar, O Lord, proclaiming aloud your praise and telling of all your wonderful deeds. I love the house where you live, O Lord, the place where your glory dwells. I love the house where you live, O oh Lord. I'm just going to read this. This is just beautiful. <laughs> I love the house where you live, O oh Lord, the place where your glory dwells. Do not take away my soul along with sinners, my life with bloodthirsty men, in whose hands are wicked schemes, whose right hands are full of bribes. But I lead a blameless life. Redeem me and be merciful to me. My feet stand on level ground. In the great assembly, I will praise the Lord. Amen. <clears throat> Man. Like once again, David knows how to really, really speak with his all of his mind, all of his heart, all of his soul, all of his strength, all of himself, and give thanks and glory back to the Lord. Amen. Listen to how he starts here. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have led a blameless life. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. And so bringing past to present, we can know that our sins have been forgiven and that the Lord, what the Lord sees in us is a reflection of, of his son. He sees in us that we have faith in him. And so we can also be vindicated we can also be blameless in front of the lord for all eternity because he loves us that much that he made sure that there was a way to be with him for all eternity and we can have trust i have trust i've trusted in the lord without wavering we can trust in the lord we can have faith in the lord and trust in the lord without wavering I know sometimes it can be difficult, especially looking at situations or even sometimes even asking ourselves, this is simple. I can, I can do this. Do I, do I really need to ask the Lord? Do I really need to bother him? And what I'm telling you is you, we never can bother the Lord. Yeah. Even the simple things ask, I mean, thinking about it, you drive up, <clears throat> you're going someplace, you see a parking spot. And then you have that thought. Yeah. Let me park here. But in the back of your mind is something, something's up. Listen to that. Ask the Lord, is this the right parking spot for me? There may be a reason. You may have parked there and got a flat tire. Somebody may have hit you. Something could have happened. And so we never know those things. Even the simple things that we take for granted in life. Even those things, we can reach out to the Lord. We can reach out to him and ask and have trust and faith in the Lord. And this is what David is telling us. He's telling us just how much he has trust and faith in the Lord. And he's even asking the Lord, test me, O Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Because he's he's given it to the Lord. He's He's utilizing his heart, his soul, his mind, his whole being to worship and praise the Lord. And also state, uh, make statements, request, request to the Lord that 
he knows will be done. They will be accepted and they will be done. <clears throat> so there's a lot here. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? What does it make you think? 